Welcome back to Rotune, guys. Today, I'm gonna do a video on bullet drop. I wanna see how much a supersonic 22 compared to a match 22, that's subsonic, as well as my 17 Mach 2 and a 17 HMR. I wanna see the bullet drop at 270 yards. So way out back, I have a 10 foot tall piece of cardboard uh, stapled to a two by four to keep it erect. And then we're gonna aim at the very top. I put a three inch sticky up there and we're gonna just shoot five shots with each of the calibers and see what kind of bullet drop we get. The 17 HMR and the 17 Mach 2 are zeroed at 100 yards and we're just gonna keep it that way. I just wanna see what kind of drop we get at 270. The rifles I'm using today, starting with the 17 HMR, XT17 Varmint, and the ammo we're shooting is a CCI VNT 17 at 2650 feet per second. And we'll shoot five shots, got a straight 10 Bushnell on it, tactical. Next up is my 17 Mach 2. So this thing, we're gonna be shooting the 17 grain VMAX out of it, Hornady's. And it's got a Bushnell LRTSI, four and a half to 18, mil mil first focal plane. And this is a Savage Mark II. The hypersonic 22s, we're gonna be shooting the Stangers, CCI Stanger out of my Marlin XT22. This is just a sporter size barrel and it's got the Arkin SH4 on top. And these little bolts here are running around 1640 feet per second. So we'll see how that compares to the normal 22, my CZ457 LRP. And on top of this, I have the Razor HD Gen 1, and we're shooting RWS target rifle. So, five shots each, out at 270. Let's see how this goes. Okay, first up, 17 HMR. Five shots, holding on the sticky, but with no adjustments, so we're going to see how much drop we get. Okay, there's our five shots. Now we're going to do the seventeen Mach two. I'm gonna do five more shots with the 17 Mach 2 because I didn't start the counter behind. I want to see if I can catch some trace or bullet in flight. So we'll do another five. So we're gonna be 10 of the Mach 2s on there. I decided with stingers, I'm going to do 10 shots as well, and I'll do 10 with the uh, RWS, just to see if we can get like a pattern-y kind of group, see where we're at. So here's 10 shots of stingers at 270.
I didn't start the downrange camera. Well, here we go now. Now I probably have a few left. Got a decent little cluster there. These next ones are going to hit a lot lower, so I'm going to move the drone down. The last five feet, probably, of the target. All right, last but not least, the RWS target rifle. Ten shots, not adjusting zero. That one. Here we go for ten. Power off a bit. I can see what's happening. We have to dial some right in here too. That's it. Well guys, now it's time to measure and see the results. So let's see the drop from our zero at distance. Okay, first off from our zero. So let's go for our highest shot was here, lowest shot here. So basically the middle, about 11 and three quarter inches. And that's at 270 yards. This is 17 Mach 2. And in this group, lowest hit there, highest hit up here. And they're all they all seem to be keyholing. They're all hitting sideways. There's they're not a round circle. I'll get a close-up picture right now for that. So let's see around the middle of the group. So just over 10 inches, so we'll go just over five, so. From our zero to center of the group, about 42 inches of drop. And that's with a 100 yard zero as well. So CCI Stingers grouped right in here. Mach 2 is right here, so we got about a foot, about a foot difference, pretty much. Uh, 12 and a half inches of lower elevation on the stingers. And let's see what our drop is for the stingers. Let's say 54 and a quarter inches. So next up at the very bottom of our 10 foot tall target, we have our RWS, which you can pretty much cover with your palm of your hand. It's almost other than the 17 HMR, it pretty much looks like the next tightest group. So that's about center of the group there. Let's see where we are. The drop. That's about 101 inches. So 101 inches of drop. Another thing I thought I'd share with you guys. So we had a couple of the Mach 2s hit the boards and the one that hit more direct did not come out. So 
loses a lot of power. Obviously, this one came out just on the side. That one just glanced off the side. We come down here to CCI Stinger. We had one impact on the 2x4. Direct pass through. So holding a ton more energy. That's only a 32 green bullet, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll come down to the bottom of the 2x4. We've got a couple of impacts from the RWS. And those straight or clean straight through impacts. So a little more a little more power down range with the heavier bullets, even though they're going a lot slower. So there you have it guys. That's the bullet drop at 270. So if you ever wanted to know, that's what it does. And we compared the 217s and the hypersonic 22 and a subsonic 22. Pretty crazy results. I was pretty impressed at how the Stingers and the Mach 2s were only about a foot apart in elevation. Obviously the Mach 2 is a little bit faster and a little bit lighter, so a little bit flatter shooting. But the CCI was right in there too. And it remained pretty accurate at distance as well. So yeah, if you're shooting at a big target, you're going to probably hit it with that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.